This is the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, a long time ago, there lived three bears in the forest. There was Daddy Bear, Mommy Bear and Baby Bear. Mommy Bear decided to make some porridge. She mixed it together in a huge bowl and she put it into three bowls. One for Daddy Bear, one for Mommy Bear and one for Baby Bear. But it was very, very hot. So all three bears decided to go for a walk in the woods. And in the meantime, there lived a little girl called Goldilocks who had long, beautiful golden ringlets in her hair who decided to go for a walk. Her mum said to her, Goldilocks, don't go in the forest. You know what I always say to you, not near the forest. But Goldilocks decided this day to go into the forest. And she went deep, deep into the forest where she seen a beautiful cottage with the door open. And what did she do? She looked around and decided to go into the cottage. And there on the table were three bowls of porridge. There was a huge bowl that she decided to have a taste out of. <gasps> but it was too hot. There was a medium sized bowl that she decided to have a taste out of. But that was too lumpy. And there was a tiny bowl that she decided to have a taste out of. <gasps> and it was delicious. And she ate all the porridge all the porridge from the whole of the bowl and the bowl was empty. She then decided to have a little look around and there in the cottage were three chairs. There was a huge chair that she decided to have a little climb onto and she climbed onto the huge chair but it was far too big for her and her feet didn't touch the floor. So she climbed back down onto the medium sized chair which again was still too big for her. And there in the corner, she saw a small rocking chair, which she climbed onto and she rocked and she rocked and she rocked and she rocked until suddenly there was a loud crack and the chair fell to pieces. Oh my goodness, she thought. And she looked at the broken bits of chair on the floor and thought, oh dear. What shall I do now? And then she noticed a staircase. So did she decided to climb up the staircase. And what did she find at the top of the stairs? Three beds. There was a huge bed. There was a medium sized bed. And there was a tiny little bed. Well, she climbed onto the huge bed. But it felt too high. So then she climbed onto the medium sized bed. Which was just okay but just a little bit hard and she jumped up and down on the bed and made the duvet a mess and the pillows went everywhere and then she thought oh I'm really tired my tummy's full and I think I need a sleep so she got onto the tiny bed and she fell fast asleep and began to snore in the meantime, the three bears came back to the cottage and Daddy Bear noticed that the door was wider open than he'd left it. Well, he said, and he went into the cottage and there on the table he noticed the bowls were all in a different place, the bowls of porridge. <gasps> and he looked into his bowl and he said, Who's been eating my porridge? And Mummy Bear looked into her bowl and she says, and who's been eating my porridge? Well, Baby Bear looked into his bowl. Who's been eating my porridge and they've ate it all up, he said. Oh, well, <gasps> Daddy Bear looked around and he noticed the three chairs. Who's been sitting on my chair, he said. And Mummy Bear noticed her chair. And who's been sitting on my chair, she said. And Baby Bear looked at his chair on the floor and he went, Oh no, somebody's been sitting in my chair and it's all broken. Oh no. Well, Daddy Bear 
was a little bit suspicious at this, and he decided to have a look up the stairs. So all three bears trotted up the stairs, and there he seen his bed, and he said, Who's been sitting on my bed? And Mommy Bear noticed her bed and the duvet was everywhere and the cushions were everywhere. And who's been jumping on my bed, she said. Well, Baby Bear looked at his bed and there, lying on the bed, snoring away, was Goldilocks. Well, all three bears stood around the bed, glaring at Goldilocks, when suddenly she opened one of her eyes. And then she opened the other eye. And then she saw all three bears at the end of the bed. She sat up in bed and went, Ow! And she ran down the stairs. And she ran and she ran through the forest all the way home. And there her mom opened the door and says, Goldilocks, where have you been? But she didn't say. And that was the end of the story of Goldilocks. And do you know, she never went back to the forest ever again. And they all lived happily ever after.